Topics and much more today on Real Moms, Real Stories, Real Savvy. It's fun. Got a few questions to ask you. What are some of the things that you had to do to prepare your pets for the arrival of your new baby? We did a couple things specifically, but in general, from the time we got our pets, we had in the back of our minds we wanted to have a baby. And so the main thing we did was just make sure that they were well trained from the beginning. So what was the best advice Ian gave you that you can give to the other moms out there watching who may have pets and be in your same situation? Um, we did most of our training with Ian before before we knew Reagan was coming, but when we did find out we were pregnant, we did talk to them again about what were some of the things we could do to ensure a smooth transition. We were just very careful and watched the dogs for their reaction about when we did bring the baby home if there was any signs of aggression or any <laughs> any um, any signs that they may not be faring well but we really didn't see anything so there hasn't really been anything we had to remediate at all. We frequently get questions from expecting parents um, wanting some tips on what to do when they bring their new baby home. One tip would be hopefully that they have some prior training under their belt. Another tip would be um, to uh, bring the baby's blanket home um, prior to the introduction. A third thing would be socializing um, with, with other people and children especially and, and we have guidelines to help them with that if they need it. Uh, and a fourth thing would be to have um, another adult around, which usually they do, especially if it's a, a, a dog that's um, you're not quite sure how they're going to react with the baby or if they're a very overactive dog. New parents that need advice on, on behavior, we refer to a couple of local behaviorists that we're familiar with versus sending them off to the internet. And the reason is if they're needing help with their animal, one, you're going to need an expert, and two, by getting some feedback from them, we know what the plan of action is and also how to kick in on our end. The things that I did to prepare my dogs for the arrival of babies, I think most importantly was desensitizing them to approach and, and touch, the types of touches that a child may deliver, uh, the pull of the tail, ears, these sensitive areas. I think it's important that any dog owner uh, have a dog that desensitizes those kind of touches. And these are the types of things that can really help make that uh, successful. We frequently get questions from expecting mothers on what to do with their cat in their litter box. Um, there is an organism that cats can carry and transmit um, to pregnant women and affect their fetus called toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is it is an organism that cats can acquire usually from eating um, a wild animal that's infected with it and cysted in them and then they can acquire it and have it insisted in their intestines and pass it on. My recommendation is one is if at all costs if you can not clean out the litter box just have somebody else do it and then that really decreases your chances. Um, if you have to do it wear gloves and wash your hands. But, an, but another source that people don't really think about commonly is gardening and cats that are outside will will use their their garden to defecate in and then that can be a source of, of picking up these cysts. So people that are gardening women especially need to wear their gloves and wash their hands when they're outside too.